Each snap has a male and female half, and you'll need to put both pieces onto your project. First, we're going to knot our thread. You'll usually use a coordinating for thread, but I'm using a contrasting one so that you can see it a little bit better. You'll hide your knot underneath the snap, hold the snap in place, and guide your needle through the opening in the snap. We're going to put about three to four stitches in each of the four openings of the snap. And with each opening, you're going to make a little loop with your thread and bring your needle through the loop. This will create a little knot. And as you make little knots all the way around your snap, it will help to keep your snap secure so that if one part of your thread breaks later on with use as you tug the snap open and closed, the other knots will hold the snap in place. Once you do three to four stitches in, in your opening, you'll move on over to your next opening in the snap and you'll just keep going until you've sewn all the way around the snap. I also like to note that none of my stitches are going through the second layer of fabric here. I have a lined jacket that I'm sewing here and I'm only sewing through the lining of the jacket so that when we turn this jacket over, you won't see any of the stitches. We're going to repeat the same process as we sew on the other side of the snap. This time I am using coordinating thread and you'll be able to see how much better those stitches really blend in with the fabric when you're using the proper thread.